So we know, we know Chelsea have had a busy summer so far, and their, their work is not done yet. But the newest news out of the Blues is the signing of Katarina Macario from Leon on a free. Now, for those not familiar with, with, with Kat Macario, she's a very good player. Um, she's very driven. She moved to the US as a child with, with about half her family to try and pursue her dreams of playing football. She was... She was really highly lauded when she was playing at Stanford. And unlike quite a lot of players when they leave the collegiate system, she went into the professional environment really on and she just settled right in. You know, we see a lot in NWSL, you know, rookies need that first year, even sometimes a second year. But she just took the step right up to to the professional world with, with ease. She settled in. She sort of understood the style that was being played at Lyon. She knew what was being asked of her. She started forming partnerships with her teammates and kind of and looked very much the part and you wouldn't have thought that she was fresh out of university. And after a very good first season with Lyon, she actually tore her ACL in the last game of the 2021-22 season. So she hasn't actually played for about a year now, a little bit over, she hasn't been on the pitch, which is a, a bit of a worry, as you know, we know that players generally come back from ACLs around about nine months, and, and throughout her rehab, the, the news had been positive, she'd been, she came back on the pitch, she's building up for fitness, and people were actually expecting a very early return, but as of yet, she's yet to get back on the pitch, which is a slight concern, but she's young, she's resilient, she ruled herself out of the World Cup quite early, so I think the focus for her is very much on building up her strength, getting a good pre-season under her belt. But for her role at Chelsea, she's a very versatile player, she can play the 9, she can play the 10, she unsurprisingly likes, likes playing the false 9, that's where we started to see her for the US a bit before she did get, before she got injured, but she can kind of play anywhere in the attack, which is really quite useful for Chelsea since losing Penilla Harder, we think that she'll kind of be filling in that, that harder role and, you know, looking to, to form partnerships with Sam Kerr and of course Fran Kirby and just getting sort of that, that front three working well, so that versatility is, is, is quite an important factor for, for an Emma Hayes team that tends to be quite fluid and and pieces can move about we've also seen in the, the same from from Hayes this 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 window already with the signing of, of Nixon who can play sort of midfield and defense so there is a lot of flexibility with the players coming into Chelsea but I think Macario there's a reason so many people have, have been so excited about her even back when she was at Stanford back when she's first signed for Lyon you know she's already got some very good silverware under her belt as well which is really important for, for Emma Hayes as she does eye that she continues to eye that Champions League trophy and bring in more players from Lyon like like Kadita Buchanan now like Katerina Macario it it bolsters and we saw how how useful that was for, for Barcelona in, in their pursuit of the Champions League trophy and bringing in Champions League winners. But whether whether Chelsea finally get there in Europe or not, I think Macario is going to be a fantastic addition if she can get back to, to that pre-injury level and there's nothing saying that she can't. Thanks so much for watching ESPN on YouTube. And for more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for premium content and live streaming, subscribe to ESPN+.